Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Lisa from PassiveSureProfits.com. So today I'm gonna to be talking about making money with Redbubble, which is another print-on-demand website. And I will say, for me, Redbubble was not a print-on-demand that was on my radar up until probably the last six months because I didn't know what sells there. The same things that sell for me on Merch by Amazon and Spreadshirt and Zazzle, we're not selling for me on Redbubble. But I've discovered one tip that has helped me and I'm gonna talk about that here and that's creating prints, all over prints, patterns. So what I'm gonna do in this video is take you inside Illustrator and don't worry if you don't have or plan to buy Illustrator, you can do the same thing more than likely in your program too and I'll talk about that when we get inside. But I'm gonna create a camouflage print from scratch and show you how to upload it to Redbubble, place it on leggings, phone cases, and you can make some really cool products for your audience. You can make brandable stuff. And what I like about Redbubble is they are one of the few print-on-demand sites that have a lot of all-over print stuff. So if you wanna sell something different besides t-shirts and mugs, Redbubble is the place to go. You know, when I started with Redbubble, I hardly made anything, but now I probably get a sale at least every other day on average, even if it's just a sticker. But you know what? Those stickers add up. So let's go inside Illustrator. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a camouflage or a camo print from scratch. And we're gonna upload it to Redbubble and I'm gonna show you how to place it on the product. So let's go. All right, so here we are inside Illustrator. Now, if you don't have Illustrator and maybe you use GIMP or Paint or something like that, the only tools that you're gonna need to pull this off are the paintbrush tool or maybe the paint bucket if you need to fill in the color, it just depends on your program, and you'll need a shape tool. That's really all you need. Those are the only tools that are involved in this. So if you look at this pattern, it's really a mixture of just four colors. As you can see, I've got my little swatches here so I can call up the colors very easily. So the base of my camouflage is this beige color. And then I just filled in the shapes with the remaining colors. So all I did was I clicked the first color I wanted to use for my background and I grab the rectangle tool up here, which is the M key if you're following along in Illustrator. So I just drew a square, just like that. So then I came down, I hit the V key, which is the move tool in Illustrator, and I clicked my next color. Now you're gonna go to the paintbrush tool. All you do is double click, and then just make sure you have fill new brush strokes checked and then click OK and watch what's gonna happen. So then you're just gonna draw your shape, little camouflage shape here kind of random and it fills in the color just like that and so that's all I did so I just started kind of doing something like this with the colors and then when I was done with that color I clicked the V key move tool selected my next color hit the B key or the paintbrush tool and then just did the same thing And that's all I did. It's super, super easy. It took me like five minutes to do this. So you can choose how many, you know, or how much of one color you wanna use. It's really up to you. And so if you have a program that doesn't automatically fill in the color, you might have to grab your paint bucket tool and fill in each color if, if you're not getting the same effect. So that's all you do, you guys. And so if you're curious, this palette that I'm using is 2000 by 2000 pixels and it's 300 DPI. So that's the quality. So this is gonna be a very, very big file when I export it, which is what I want because I want this to be high quality. I want to be able to zoom in on the pattern, on the products, which you're gonna see in just a second. So when you're done, obviously you wanna get rid of all of this stuff here, delete, you're gonna file, export, export as, and you're gonna save this as a PNG file. And now we're gonna go into Redbubble and I'm gonna show you how to make products with this camo print. All right, so here we are inside Redbubble. So you're just gonna go up to your little account avatar or icon and then click add new work. And you're gonna upload your PNG that you just created. Okay, so right away you can start enabling and disabling products that you don't want. So obviously this looks ridiculous on the t-shirts, right? So I'm gonna turn those off. But this is where it gets cool. Look at all of these all over print products. Look at the phone case. So all you do is you're gonna edit the individual products and you're gonna position the camo so it covers the entire product. And this is why I make my products so large because you wanna be able to enlarge them without losing any quality. 
So you notice how it wasn't taking up the whole shirt. So I can increase it and move it around however I want. And then I come down here and click apply. And so there we've got a camouflage tank. So you do the same thing and I'm not gonna do all these cause I think you get the point. But what I like about Redbubble is you can change and customize your commissions for each product. So say for example, for this phone case, you wanna increase your commission. So you go to edit and you come down here and you can adjust your commission. So if you want this to be 40% and they tell you what the price is gonna be when you make the change. What I would recommend if you're selling stickers and a sticker wouldn't look right in this instance, but I would definitely increase your sticker markup to at least 40, 50%. I know people that do 100% um, because stickers sell more than anything on Redbubble. But in this case, I wouldn't sell a sticker because it's just a camo print and it looks weird. So my favorite though are the leggings. And I think for the camo, that looks really, really cool. So let's click edit and we're just gonna do the same thing. And you wanna position I don't want it to be too large because you want to get that camo detail. And then you click apply and we've got some camo leggings. So there are travel mugs. As you can see, there's a lot of different products that are not offered on other print on demand sites. So this is kind of time consuming, I will admit, but when you have a pattern like this, it's worth it because this type of stuff often sells on Redbubble. Now, when you're describing your design, you want to think about how people would search. So I might say something like camo or camouflage print design. So this is kind of broad, but I just really wanted to show you how to do all over print stuff. But this is the important part that people don't really pay much attention to. And you really want to use as many tags here as you can. So you would do something like this camo, camouflage, military, uh, pattern. Cause you got to think about somebody might be searching for camo leggings or camouflage leggings, and you don't have to put the product names here. Redbubble confirm this just by the fact that you've enabled the products, they will automatically add the product names in the back end SEO search engine optimization. So you don't need to put leggings, laptop cases or whatever in your products. So you want to fill this up with as many keywords that are relevant to your, to your design. And then you just simply come down here and save your work and it publishes. It's that easy. So again, Redbubble is a great place if you wanna sell all over print products, if you wanna sell different products. It's a really nice site and their products are of good quality too. So hope you enjoy.